And on this week's edition of the Blast Newscast, we are going to take a look at the history of St. Patrick's Day and how it first started out, including how people celebrate this special holiday and why people wear green on this special day. I'm Trent Byers, and we'll have that story coming up. The cloudy skies and snow flurries and in store for this week. I'm Levi Bennington, and I'll have further details on this week's weather forecast. Those stories and a whole lot more can be seen on this week's edition of the Blast Newscast. For the week of March 19th, 2013. And now, coming to you live from our studios in Sharpsville, Indiana, Rachel Keller and Jacob Pyle. Thank you, Chris Henry. Hello, and welcome to the Blast Newscast. I'm Rachel Keller. And I'm Jacob Pyle. I got a question to ask you. Did you all remember to wear your green? St. Patrick's Day was the Sunday, the day where people like to go find shamrocks, listen to beautiful Irish music, and even watch parades go up and down the city streets. There are many ways people celebrate St. Patrick's Day all across the USA. St. Patrick's Day is also important to the Christian world as well, as the holiday itself, St. Patrick's Day, was named after St. Patrick, one of the most commonly recognized of the patron saints of Ireland. Here to tell us how St. Patrick's Day got its start is our Blast Newscast reporter, Trenton Byers. Thanks, Rachel. St. Patrick's Day <clears throat> is a cultural and religious holiday celebrated every year in order to celebrate Irish culture. In the 17th century, St. Patrick's Day was made an official feast day and is observed by most Catholic churches in Ireland. St. Patrick's Day is a day that generally involves public parades and festivals and wearing a green attire or shamrocks. Christians also attend church services and the Lenten restrictions on eating and drinking alcohol are lifted for the day. You'll often find lots of green everywhere you look on this day. The most likely of the places you can find it would have to be the White House Water Fountain in Washington DC. Awesome. <laughs> or even the Chicago River in Chicago, Illinois. They traditionally dye the water green for the special day every year. That's awesome. And even sports fans and sports players show off their green by wearing their green uniforms. So whatever you do, we hope you have a happy St. Patrick's Day, whatever you do. But please do not forget to wear your green. For Blast Newscast, I'm Trent Byers. Thanks, Trenton, for the report. Here's an interesting fact. Did you know that when St. Patrick's Day was first celebrated, the official St. Patrick's Day color was, wasn't green? Originally, the color involved with St. Patrick's Day was blue. But over the years, the color green and its association with St. Patrick's Day grew. People started wearing shamrocks and beautiful green ribbons to celebrate this special holiday, and it's still a tradition, a tradition to everyone on this special day every year. And now, with a look at our other headlines that are making news today, is Blast Newscast headline reporter J.R. Clifton. Thank you, Rachel. Hello, everyone. Here's our headlines for next week. A uh, reminder that next Tuesday, Team Blast is going to go roller skating at Hoosier Land Roller Rink in Frankfort, Indiana. It'll cost $10, but that will cover two hours of roller skating, Papa John's Pizza, and tons of fun. Be ready and be set for lots of fun. On April 5th, Team Blast will be leaving from Muncie, Indiana for Acquire the Fire 2013. The cost is $45. We'll be leaving on the 5th after school, and we'll be there part of that Friday and all day Saturday. Spots will be limited, so if interested, talk to Kendra Desi because it will be first come, first serve. And finally, a reminder for those who are planning to go to Big Stuff Church Camp that we officially have 30 people down for going to Big Stuff Church Camp in Panama City Beach, Florida. So if you are planning on going to Big Stuff Church Camp, that $50 deposit needs to be put in before camp is full. So put your money in right away and help us in raising up enough money for Big Stuff Church Camp. 
Those are our headlines for this week. I'll be back at the end of the newscast for a preview of what you'll see on next week's edition. But for now, I'm J.R. Clifton. Thank you, J.R. And now it's time for our weather with our rain or shine weatherman, Levi Bennington. Thank you, Jacob. Oh, hello, everybody. You probably noticed that the past two weeks we weren't at Team Blast. Why? Because we've had ice on the roads and heavy snow up to four inches in Sharpsville. However, this week is going to be very different as we welcome partly cloudy skies to our forecast. No snow, no ice. So, for today, expect partly cloudy skies with a high of 40 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. Tomorrow, expect snow flurries, no accumulation is expected, with a high of 32 degrees and a low of 24 degrees. Hope you've had a great and terrific week, whatever you do. I'm Levi Bennington, and that's today's weather. The Blast Newscast now has its own official website. It's at www.blastnewscast.weebly.com. Here you will find current episodes of the Blast Newscast, catch up with past episodes of the Newscast, get to know the people who make the Blast Newscast possible, and even drop us a line with your questions, comments, suggestions, or ideas. As I said, it's all here at www.blastnewscast.com blastnewscast.weebly.com That's www.blastnewscast.weebly.com See you there! And now, here's Team Blast's own Jacob Pyle. I never can say goodbye no, 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 I never can say goodbye. Even though the pain and heartache seems to follow me wherever I go. Though I try to hide my feelings, they always just seem to show. Then you try to say you're leaving me. And I always have to say no Tell me why Is it so Don't wanna let you go I never can say goodbye girl Ooh baby I never can say goodbye No 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 No, 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 I never can say goodbye Every time I think I've had enough Start heading for the door There's a very strange vibration Piercing me right through the core It says turn around you fool you know you love me for more and more Tell me why Is it so Don't wanna let you go I never can say goodbye girl Ooh baby I never can say goodbye No 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 I never can no, 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 I never can say goodbye I keep thinking that our problems soon are all gonna work out Well, there's that same unhappy feeling There's that anguish, there's a doubt It's that same old dizzy hang-up can't do with you or with that Tell me why Is it so I don't want to let you go 
I never can say goodbye, girl Ooh, baby Never can say goodbye No, 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 no No, no, I never can say goodbye, girl Ooh, baby Never can say goodbye No, 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 no Never can say goodbye, girl Ooh, baby I never can say goodbye No, 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 no Mr. No Name, I got a question for you. Sure, Jacob, fire away! Alrighty. Have you heard the joke about the butter? Uh, no, I have not. Tell me, tell me! Well, Mr. No Name, I'd better not. Why's that? Simple. It might spread. <laughs> it might spread! <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 problem! <laughs> I can love my spirit. Hey, looking for something to do on a weekday afternoon? Come up and join us for Team Blast. Our address is 210 South Main Street here in Sharpsville, Indiana, 46068. Anyone 6th grade or older is welcome. We're open after school on Mondays and Wednesdays through Friday from 3 to 6. And Tuesdays from 3 to 9 with Tuesday service from 6.30 to 8.30. Come join us, won't you? And now with a look at what you will be seeing on next week's edition of the Blast Newscast is our Blast Newscast headline reporter, J.R. Clifton. Thanks, Rachel. On next week's edition of the Blast Newscast, we are going to have another one of our lesson learning sk skits as we present a skit on what consists of a real youth group and what it means to be real in youth ministry. You'll probably be surprised by the answer. Join us as the Team Blast Newscast presents the skit the Real Youth Group. That's coming up on next week's edition of the Blast Newscast. I'm J.R. Clift, and we'll see you then. Thank you, J.R. And with that, that'll be it for this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rachel Keller. And I'm Jacob Pyle. Until next week, good night, and God bless my friends. <laughs>